Gary Rich Berghoff is an American actor, known for playing Charlie Brown in the 1967 off-Broadway musical You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and the character Corporal Walter Eugene Radar O'Reilly in the film Their Master SKSH, as well as the TV series Life in Career. Berghoff was born in Bristol, Connecticut. He studied tap dance and became a drummer. Despite having a congenital deformity of three fingers on his left hand, he gained early experience acting with the Belfry Players of Williams Bay, Wisconsin. In 1967 he originated the role of Charlie Brown in the original off-Broadway production of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. He was the drummer for a band called The Relatives in 1968. Actress Linda Carter was the band singer. The group opened at the Sahara Hotel and Casino Lounge in Las Vegas, Nevada, and played there for three months. He and Carter remained friends, and she helped cast him in an episode of her later hit series The New Adventures of Wonder Woman. In the 1978 episode, The Man Who Wouldn't Tell, M.A.S.H. Berghoff made his feature film debut in Robert Altman's M.A.S.H. Although several actors from the original film made guest appearances in the television series, Berghoff was the only actor cast as a regular, continuing in the role of Radar O'Reilly. Although he ostensibly played the same character in the series that he played in the film, Berghoff has cited differences in the portrayal. In the original feature film MASH, I created Radar as a lone, darker and somewhat sardonic character, kind of a shadowy figure. I continued these qualities for a short time until I realized that the TV MASH characters were developing in a different direction from the film. Characters it became a group of sophisticated, highly educated doctors who would rather be anywhere else and who understood the nature of the hellhole they were stuck in. With Gelbart's help, I began to mold Radar into a more innocent, naive character as contrast to the other characters, so that while the others might deplore the immorality and shame of war, Radar could just react from a position of total innocence. Berghoff was nominated for six Emmy Awards for M. Asterisk KSH in the category of Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series and, of those nominations, he won an Emmy in 1977. Berghoff's co-star Alan Alder accepted the award on his behalf. Berghoff left her masterist KSH after the seventh season because of burnout and a desire to spend more time with his family, though he returned the following year to film a special two-part farewell episode, Goodbye Radar, on the subject of his departure, Berghoff said. Family, to me, became the most important thing. I was not available as a father because of my work. That doesn't stop when the work stops. Whenever you go out as a family, you're always torn from family to deal with public recognition, as originally conceived. Goodbye Radar was supposed to be the final episode of season 7, but at the behest of CBS, it was expanded into a double episode for the November sweeps the next season. Mike Farrell tried to persuade Berghoff to stay on the show, citing the lackluster careers of former M. Asterisk KSH regulars Larry Linville and McLean Stevenson after their departures. Covering the conclusion of M. Asterisk KSH for TV Guide in 1983, Bert Preliotsky wrote, although nobody wanted to be quoted for the record, the feelings about Gary Berghoff's leaving were fairly unanimous. Love Radar hated Berghoff, as summed up by one of the principals. Gary had personality problems. He always felt there was a conspiracy against him. He was rude to everyone, but if anyone ever said anything back to him, it threw a tantrum. He had frequent spats with his cast members, particularly with Alan Alder. Once his other cast member, Mike Farrell, told him that his problem was that he could dish it out but he couldn't take it, and Gary said, and I'm getting real sick and tired of dishing it out, the poor guy didn't even realize what it said, Mike Farrell later said. Gary Berghoff may well have been the best actor in the company, it's always seemed to me, his focus, his ability to find those little gems of behavior that made everything absolutely true were a marvel to behold. Match game Berghoff also frequently 
appeared on the game show Match Game in the 1970s, both as a stand-in for regular Charles Nelson Reilly and also as the special male guest occupying the top left seat. He often sat in for Riley from late 1974 until episode 471, when Riley returned in 1975 from Broadway. He appeared in 248 episodes of Match Game through its daytime run, syndicated runs, and the nighttime version of the show. 215 episodes daytime, 18 episodes on Match Game PM, and 15 episodes during the syndicated version. Later career Berghoff appeared regularly on TV, making appearances on other game shows as well like Tattle Tales, Hollywood Squares, and Show Offs. He also appeared in the film B.S. I Love You, as well as an episode of The Love Boat and Ellery Queen. His M. Asterisk A.S.H. character Radar O'Reilly was spun off into an unsold TV show called W.A.L.T.E. Asterisk R. Berghoff also appeared in the The New Adventures of Wonder Woman episode The Man Who Wouldn't Tell in 1978 where he was reunited with his former band member Linda Carter, who portrayed the title character. In the 1980s Berghoff was the TV spokesman for BP Gasoline and IBM Computers. Berghoff is a self-taught amateur wildlife painter who is also qualified to handle injured wildlife in California. He also worked as a professional jazz drummer, heading the trio The Wii Three. In the episode, Showtime, Radar is seen playing a solo on the drums, it is a misconception that the sound was dubbed in, as it was Berghoff's actual performance. Berghoff is also the inventor of the Chum Magic, a fishing tackle invention that attracts fish toward the user's boat. Other Berghoff inventions include a toilet seat lifting handle and a new type of fishing pole. Berghoff is a philatelist, and in 1993 he was asked to help pick the postal stamp for United States hunters. In 2000, Berghoff was a spokesman for dot-com era auction aggregation site PriceRadar.com. Berghoff came out of retirement in 2010 to star in the film Daniel's Lot. Marriages Berghoff was married to Janet Gale, from 1971 to 1979, they had one child before their divorce. In 1985, he married Elizabeth Bostrom, the couple had two children and divorced in 2005. Works, Berghoff, G, to a master as KSH and back, My Life in Poems and Songs, Albany. Behrman or Media, ISBN 1-59393-343-6.